Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Ed vs. Food. You probably already noticed the audio and video that you're watching don't match up. The reason for that is when I recorded this episode of Ed vs. Food, I plugged the microphone into the wrong jack. So come editing time, I had no audio whatsoever. So let me explain to you what's going on here. Uh, this episode of Ed vs. Food was supposed to be uh, less of the experimental and more of me just sharing a recipe with you. Uh, as you can see up here, I wanted to put in a picture of Alton Brown. Alton Brown is a bit of my food guru. Whenever I need advice on what to do, I go to his recipes and his videos. And watching one episode of uh, Good Eats, he did a recipe with cauliflower. In fact, you'll see me playing with a cauliflower right here. He made a kind of salad called tabbouleh. At least I think that's how you pronounce it, tabbouleh. I decided I would give this salad a shot too, but I didn't have all the ingredients necessary. Um, in addition to that, some of the ingredients to the salad I didn't like, so I skipped them all together. Now far be it for me to say that I could improve upon the recipe, but I wanted to bring the recipe to your attention here and show off the uh, changes and additions that I made. And here I am, all excited that I finally nailed the take, but little did I know what was going to happen when I got back to editing. Here we go, these are our ingredients. Now of course the star of our show is cauliflower. I didn't know this until recently, but cauliflower comes in lots of different colors, but we're just using regular old white cauliflower. Now we have a couple of different spices that we're going to use for seasoning. Salt, mint, parsley, pepper, lime juice, olive oil. Uh, you also see that we have some golden raisins over there in the corner. We're going to use those to sweeten up the uh, salad a little bit. Uh, you can use any raisins you like, but the recipe called for golden raisins, so I went out and got golden raisins. Finally, we have down here sunflower seeds. The recipe calls for pine seeds. But pine seeds in my area go something like $8 for 3 ounces, while sunflower seeds there were like 9 ounces for like $3. So of course I went with that. You guys, of course, can adjust according to your budget. Alright, here you can see this is what the tabbouleh would look like if you more or less just follow the recipe as is. Now the first time I made this, I didn't think I was going to get that much food out of it. So I added to it a bit more to just kind of get myself more food. So what I decided to do was add uh, some red cabbage to it. And you see right here I'm playing with about half a head of red cabbage. The first time I made it, I used a whole head of red cabbage and it was far too much. So this time we're going to use half a head. The other half I used to make last salad. I wanted to do something to make it more of a meal, so I thought of different meats I could add to it. And since it comes out so minty, the obvious choice to me was lamb. And over here, there it is, you see I, I got about a pound of lamb. And what I'm going to do is just brown it a little bit and season it with some salt, pepper, and garlic.
so here we go. Here's the taste test portion of our video. And there you can see our concoction all done right there, that kind of big purple mess. I figured I could have re-recorded this, but since I had already recorded it, you could see my you could at least see my original reactions to everything. Although I'm going to be dubbing it over at this point. Um, the the tabbouleh I had in the fridge for about an hour or so after making it and eating it at this point. Um, it didn't come out as minty as I remember. It's probably because probably because I didn't keep it in the fridge long enough, and the the lamb probably uh, knocked out a lot of the flavor. But here I am eating it, and it tasted pretty good, about what I expected. Although, like I said, not as minty, and I, and I can say now that that's because I didn't leave it in the fridge enough. The, uh, the whole thing has a very subtle salty flavor to it, which comes from the seeds and the salt that you add to it, of course. But also has a very nice sweet flavor as well, and the mint flavor is very strong. Well, normally it's very strong. Here it's more on the mild side. And a lot of that sweetness comes directly from the uh, strawberries, not the strawberries. It comes directly from the raisins. Adding the lamb to it does change the flavor quite a bit. I usually eat it without the lamb because there's only one place around me that sells ground lamb, and I don't go over the third often. The same place where I find pine seeds, and they're a little on the expensive side. Mm. But the lamb, I think, is a good addition. It gives it, I think I said, I think I said in the video game that it kind of a gamey taste, but I don't know gamey from one thing or the other. But all in all, it's a great salad, and I, I love it. Tastes so good, I've been sharing it with my friends and neighbors, and I want to share with you the dozen or so viewers that I have. It's not a terribly difficult salad to make, although you probably will need a food processor for the cauliflower. Everything else is just throw it all together in a bowl and mix it up. So I hope you enjoyed this video, <laughs> the spectacular disaster that it's been, and that I can convince you to go out and try some tabbouleh of your own. Uh, this tabbouleh is, of course, made with cauliflower. Normal tabbouleh, I think, is made with stuff called bulgur, which is a kind of white grain. Uh, go out and give them both a try. Let me know what you think. Again, thank you guys for watching, and uh, I hope to see you when we make our next meal. Take care of yourselves.